five things that make men seem creepy to women, which is the last thing you want, right? I'm about to reveal to you some powerful secrets about women that many men will never know. Are you ready for this? Maybe you've tried approaching a girl and had it go really wrong. Or do you ever get that feeling that maybe girls just kind of avoid you because they think you're creepy? Knowing what it is that makes a man seem creepy to women is essential to know because once you know that, you can instead avoid it and start charming those beautiful women instead. That sounds way better, right? So, are you ready to take a massive step forward in your love life? Then make sure you keep watching. As we go into these five things that make a man seem creepy, there's something I need you to know at the start. Don't be too hard on yourself, okay? If you see yourself making some of these mistakes, it's okay, it's easy to do. And we'll talk more about this at the end, but just promise me that you're not gonna be too hard on yourself. Sound good? Now that that's out of the way, let's get started with the first thing that makes a man seem really creepy to women. Number one is telling her you have feelings for her too soon. I think this kind of started like way back in school where it's like, dude, you like her, you have to go tell her you like her. No, 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 you don't have to do that. As a matter of fact, you shouldn't do that too soon. It creeps her out really bad. As humans, we have emotional boundaries just like we have physical boundaries. And when someone who is not yet close to us emotionally acts like they're close to us emotionally, it totally creeps us out. It freaks us out, especially women. So when you ask her out by telling her that you love her, or when you let her know that you've had feelings for her for a really long time before you're actually like dating and getting ready to be in a serious relationship, when you are telling her too soon that you have feelings for her, it is scaring her to death. And you might be thinking, okay, but Melanie, you said that pursuing a woman is one of the best ways to build attraction. And that is completely true. As a matter of fact, pursuing her, if you're talking about a feminine, tender, loving woman, not a fake, toxic, controlling woman, big difference. Pursuing her is one of the single most attractive things you can do. And when you tell her you have feelings for her at the appropriate time, holy cowboy, it's going to give her butterflies. It's going to melt her heart. It's like I teach in my academy. Just like your attraction for her grows higher and higher, stronger and stronger when she makes you feel masculine, when you make her feel feminine, holy cow, get ready for that attraction to skyrocket. That's why pursuing her works. Just make sure you're telling her you have feelings for her at the appropriate time. If it's too soon, it's going to freak her out. And P.S., before we get to our next secret, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. My name is Melanie. I'm a Christian dating coach for men and your go-to source to learn how to find that adorable love of your life. No more toxic women, no more fake women, just real, authentic love love. If that's what you're looking for, make sure you subscribe. And if you'd like to learn more about working with me in my academy, go to coachmoney.com slash masterclass. Okay. The second thing you need to know about what can make a man seem creepy really fast is trying to be flirty by being suggestive or even just being overly flirty. The fact is flirting is magical. It's amazing. It's one of my favorite things to do. I have a whole video dedicated to that in my academy and it's one of my favorite things to teach you. Never feel like flirting is bad. However, being suggestive or feeling like you have to flirt constantly, that's actually not flirting, that's creepy. One way a lot of men will unknowingly have kind of that suggestive hint to when they're flirting or talking to her is pointing inappropriate attention to her body. She wants to know that you think she's beautiful, but just save some of it for when you're married, okay? You don't need to tell her everything right now. That will creep her out. Definitely have fun and flirt. Just make sure you're keeping it clean and classy, okay? By the way, we're talking a lot about massive mistakes in this video, and they're really important to know, aren't they? You definitely wanna make sure you're avoiding the mistakes. But are you wondering right now, okay, then what, what do I do right? What do I do that will instead charm her and captivate her and, and make her fall completely in love with the real you? What should you do to be successful in love so you can always have her stunning smile by your side? This is literally what I created Attracting Lasting Love Academy to guide you through. All of my best secrets are there. Like, 
If you enjoy this YouTube stuff, we are just getting started. So to learn more about what you'll discover there and how it can help guarantee your success in love, just go to coachamani.com slash masterclass. I'll give you all the deets there. I'll put a link in the description below and a link in the pinned comment. If you are serious about forever love and you're tired of tricks and strategies that get you nowhere, these secrets are for you. Go to coachmelner.com slash masterclass. Okay, the next thing you need to know about what makes a man seem really creepy to women is acting needy. And this is something that's really easy to do without even realizing it. However, when somebody's needy, it drains the other person. It automatically makes us feel uncomfortable and we want to just get out of that situation. It's perfectly normal to have needs, to need to be needed and to need her and to want to be around each other, like a lot. However, it is important to make sure you're still your own person. The truth is you just deserve that. Now, some examples of what it looks like to be too needy is acting jealous, constantly needing validation, constantly needing to be uh, with her or texting her or calling her, wanting to spend every minute together or know what she's doing every minute of the day. These are very, very needy and kind of toxic habits to get into even though it's really easy to do. Okay, the next thing that can make you seem creepy really fast is being bitter towards relationships and towards women. If you haven't yet seen this video, make sure you watch that one as well. I talk about this there. Uh, I will put a link in the description below. I actually have a little bit of a confession to make. Are you ready? <laughs> Long before I became a coach, I actually was struggling with some bitterness. Many people uh, don't know this, but I was raised with an incredibly abusive father and you attract what you know. And I did and so, there was a point in my life where I was just kind of bitter <laughs> about men and about relationships. And I had to sit down with myself and say, I don't like feeling this way. I don't like how I feel when I'm this bitter because the truth is there's always two sides of the picture. You can focus on the bad out there or you can focus on the good. And I realized I could either focus on the bad guys, the mean guys who had hurt me so deeply or I could focus instead on the good out there. And can I just say, there are so many amazing men in this world. That's one of the reasons why I love what I do. I love connecting with tens of thousands of men and seeing how amazing you are. So I get it. I know what it's like to be bitter because you've been hurt and you don't deserve that and I'm sorry. But holding on to that bitterness will only attract more bitterness. It's only going to attract fake women and toxic women and you don't deserve that. Because the good women, the women who just want, she just wants to open her heart and she just wants to adore you, that kind of woman, she is going to be afraid of your bitterness and she's going to see it as creepy and she's going to, going to run away. So I get it. I know what it's like, but releasing that bitterness is ultimately going to set you free to find the kind of woman that you deserve. While we're here, if you are enjoying this video and would like more videos like this one, comment creepy to let me know. I don't know that I've ever done a video on this before, but I really enjoyed it. And there were other things I really wanted to add to the video, but it would be too long. So if you would like more videos so you can avoid women thinking you're creepy in the future, comment creepy to let me know. And a huge shout out to those of you who are so generous with the super thanks. It touches my heart and helps me continue to bring you these videos. So thank you. And whether you've ever used the super thanks or not, if you'd like to uh, use it in, with this video, it would mean a lot to me, so thank you. Okay, my next way that you can seem creepy to women too fast is giving her gifts too soon or even just showing um, large acts of affection too soon. A good example of this would be maybe it's her birthday or you're trying to ask her out or something like that and all of a sudden you just shower her with these like flowers and chocolates and all these things or maybe you try and um, do something really expensive for her really early on or before you're even dating 
What that's going to do is that's going to put so much pressure on her and it's going to creep her out. It's going to scare her. It's easy to see why a lot of men misunderstand this because it's sweet and it's adorable and it's going to be when you actually have a relationship, okay? When you've like been dating for a while and you're like, hey, we should be official now. At that point, these things are so cute and they're going to melt her heart and they're going to make her feel love and they're going to really touch her. But until you actually have that emotional closeness that we talked about earlier, it's going to like put a red flag and she's going to say, he's trying too hard. What does he want from me? So save it for later on because when you have that emotional closeness, that's what's going to melt her heart. Okay, if you have made any of these mistakes, I just want to take a second and reassure you, it's okay, okay? <sighs> Breathe, she's made mistakes too, okay? It's just how it works. It's never about the past, it's about who you are right now. So take what you've learned and let it affect you and let it change you and change what you do moving forward. So are you wondering how to move forward? What to do, what simple, easy things you can do that will make that feminine, beautiful woman fall in love with the real you? Because it's about her falling in love with who you really are, because you are an amazing person. You're so much more of a catch than you realize. So what can you do to make her fall in love forever instead of creeping her out? I pull back the curtain in Attracting Lasting Love Academy and reveal these secrets to you and help you master them so they're automatic. You don't even really have to think about it. Right here, right now, go to coachamelanie.com slash masterclass. Open it in a new tab. That's where I will give you the details in this completely free training. So I will put a link in the description below and a link in the pinned comment, or again, just go to coachamelanie.com slash masterclass. Okay, let's sum up what you've just learned about what makes you seem creepy to a woman. Number one is telling her you have feelings for her too soon. <laughs> That's one of the biggest ones I see. It's a definite, no, you shouldn't do that. Two, trying to be flirty by being suggestive or even just flirting way too much. This again, creeps her out fast. Three, acting needy by needing constant validation or constantly uh, having to hear from her or be with her. That is really draining to a woman. Four is being bitter. It's okay to acknowledge you've been hurt in the past. You didn't deserve that, but holding on to bitterness only attracts more bitterness. Number five is giving her gifts or showing large acts of affection way too soon. This again puts too much pressure on her and makes her think you just want something from her instead of melting her heart, which is what it will do if you wait for the appropriate timing. Thank you so much for watching my amazing friend. Be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell if you haven't yet and give me a big thumbs up. Would you like more videos like this one so you can avoid mistakes in the future? If you would, comment creepy to let me know and leave any other questions or ideas you have in the comments as well. Do you have a friend who needs to know to avoid these mistakes? Of course you do, because everybody needs to avoid these mistakes. <laughs> so make sure you share it with him. If you don't yet follow me on social media, there are links in the description below and I share exclusive content in my Instagram stories. So make sure you especially follow me there. Thank you so much again, my amazing friend and have an amazing day. <clears throat> Again, is the mic's working? <laughs> so, you know what's funny is we're, we're experimenting, we're moving the mic so it's not in frame, but that means I can use the arms on my um, chair, and that kind of makes me want to like slouch like a detective movie or something, you know? <laughs> That's what it looks like in my head. That's not what it looks like on my screen, but it's like, hey. What's up? <laughs> One of these days I should start a video like that. What's up? I'm gonna teach you how to get the girl of your dreams. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, I'm on one already. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I'm serious though. Wouldn't I be good in a detective movie? I'd be so good at it. Anyway, all right. Here we go. <laughs> perfectly normal thing to do when you're sitting all by yourself, right? <laughs>
that'll go a long way. <laughs> okay, secret end of the video club. Thanks for being here. If this is your first time, I always share a word at the end of the video and then you leave it and then I know who watched to the end of the video and it's super fun and uh, it confuses everybody else, which is, you know, kind of fun too. <laughs> so they should watch to the end of the video. I'm just saying. There are bloopers and other good stuff, right? <laughs> okay, so the word for the end of the video today is brown. I hope I haven't done that before. Why is it brown? Because I sat here for like two minutes trying to think of a word and nothing came. So brown it is. We're just going to go with that. So thanks for being here. Thanks for commenting. You're amazing. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, you know what? That's what I should have done. Then I would have stood up, sat up a lot. Okay. I have to put my feet differently. And then I don't slouch. Like somebody in a detective movie. <laughs> that has nothing to do with a detective movie, but... I'm thinking about mysteries right now, okay? And no, it's not because life is a mystery, although sometimes it is. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> and this concludes the most random video Melanie has ever filmed. I can't promise it will always be the most random. But up to this point, it probably is. <laughs> okay, bye.